Hi, I'm John Popper, lead singer of the band Blues Traveler. I also play harmonica and am arguably one of the best in the world, but thank God there really never can be an actual best. But I'm damn good. I'm going to teach you a few things about the harmonica. I was harmonizing in church when I was three. You know, my parents realized I was sort of musically inclined and we are distantly related to David Popper, this early 20th century cellist who, uh, I think it was in the 1910s, he was a bohemian cellist. So they gave me a cello and gave me lessons and I was horrible at it and I hated to practice. And then when I was eight, they gave me piano lessons and I hated to practice, hated learning to read, hated being told what to do. Tuba lessons later, give the fat kid a tuba, sort of goes without saying, I was a little pudgy in uh, school. And guitar lessons, and again, hated learning to read. The great thing about the harmonica is there wasn't really any literature for it or lessons to be taught. You just kind of had to figure it out yourself. And that's really part of how I excelled at it, that and also the chord structure of the harmonica is very satisfying. When you exhale on a C harmonica, you get a C major chord right away. Inhale, you get a G dominant chord. All dominant means is that the seventh degree of that chord, la 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 la, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, of a major scale is flattened and that lets you go la 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 la. It lends itself to more of a bluesy thing. That is what a dominant chord transmits. So right away, you're sort of kind of playing music, something basically pleasing. And so basically when I got my harmonica the first day, I was going I'm sort of playing Frere Jacques, kind of right out of the box. you start realizing how many songs are built on these two chords to some degree or another. A little fudging here and there. It's basically the structure of a lot of Western music is a major chord with some sort of a dominant chord. 